That's right, folks. We are back. I bet you thought I forgot. I didn't forget. It's just been tough. As I pointed out in the previous video when I had the Xbox equipment, the further you get into this, the tougher it gets. The bigger the trades get, the harder it is to move an item or to gain interest, especially when you're doing it completely by yourself. So we left off with an Xbox and equipment worth roughly $150. Now this is what we got. A bunch of Silver Age comics. There's a lot of Gold Key, Mighty Samson. These are from Silver Age. 12 cent Dells. A nice big stack of Space Family Robinson, which is of course where the show Lost in Space ties into. And it turns into Lost in Space after further into the run. And Marvel's own Sub Mariner, starting with issue two, two, three, five, and so on. And they're not worth a ton. You know, Sub Mariner is not the most popular Marvel character. And Space Family Robinson and Mighty Samson are kind of like item specific. There aren't a lot of people out there looking for them. And the conditions on these are back and forth like this one. You can see the first one on the stack of the Mighty Samson. And this is issue number eight, actually. Um, it's been stamped on and it's got tears and things like that. These are not the highest grade condition comics, you know. These are probably worth like 10 bucks a piece. And a few of the Submariners are probably worth a little bit more. 15, maybe 25 for the first one in the condition that it's in. You know, it's got some cover wear and so forth. All in all, what I have though for my trade is roughly about $500 worth of Silver Age comic books, which is outstanding. I've gone from 150 with the Xbox to about 500 worth of Silver Age comics. That is a really good trade, and that's a really good stopping point for now. A lot of people would stop right there. Uh, naturally, we're going to con continue. We're going to try to trade this up and see where we can go. And remember, we started with an Oculus DVD that I paid 50 cents for. So we've gone from 50 cents to five hundred dollars that is really good so hang in there with us as we continue to press on i'm going to try to trade up again and at which point i am successful i will update the video if you're doing your own red paperclip challenge good luck hang in there it gets tough as you go further on i am still operating out of craigslist in case you're wondering and remember, the original Red Paperclip Challenge was done through Craigslist, at least through the first tier, until things started getting really, really big. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out our other videos, and hope to see you again soon.